to work with right now. I have a lot, a lot of dishes to do as always. I gave breakfast to the kids. I went to the store to buy some, a few uh, things, dropped them off to school and it's about to be 10 o'clock. I can make a lot of noise because Edgar's home, but then I have a lot of mess. Now this is my, my outgoing for today. I'm gonna be moving those um that couch is set and that table i mean that tv and the tv stand to this entryway or not entryway to this living room because i don't have a lot of furniture and we have a lot of other projects that we are going to do and hopefully we could be done by before the end of the year i want it to be cozy and because you know fall it's coming uh, um, Christmas so I kind of want to have them over here I'm always changing them back and forth but this time I truly want to leave them over here and then I have all that those decorations from my niece birthday that I have to put away and I'm not sure if I want to keep this for now I will keep the keep this this is actually a um, a dresser and my husband painted it it was from an old uh, bedroom set that we had but i didn't like it so i end up doing it like a breakfast bar but i'm not sure if i want to keep it and then i made that one last year for the window uh and i'm pretty sure we're gonna make another one to put the curtains that we just bought at ikea over the weekend in here i'm not gonna be putting those yet Oh, and then I have all of these decorations. Um, on that red bin, bin, it's the decorations that I have from last year. And then I bought a lot of new stuff this year. And I still want to go and buy more. I don't know if I'm going to do a haul. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to haul before putting everything. And then I'll, I'll get that done. But let's get started, guys. <music> Welcome back sunshine to another cleaning video. I hope you had an amazing long three day weekend with your family. But now we have to get back into our routine. I'm trying to deep clean the whole downstairs and trying to rearrange a few of my furniture to get it prepared for fall. But I'm gonna be starting cleaning in the kitchen first. I love to put everything that goes in the fridge all together so that way I won't have to open the fridge several times and that way I could just open it all at once and put it everything in place and this is actually a mess from the morning breakfast for the kids and a night before um, I know I always have a lot of dishes but in reality it wasn't that much it's just that everything was everywhere and it's going to be real life since I do babysit my niece and my I had to go and drop off the kids to school. Edgar was home. He had to leave after two to work. So I, in between, I had to stop to make some lunch and then I had to make some uh, dinner, dinner for the kids after school. And I also had to win and pick them up. Take my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free. Every time I have this many dishes, I do use gloves. To be honest, I don't like to use gloves that often, but when I have a lot of dishes, I know I'm gonna be using a lot of water and I don't wanna damage my hands. So that's one of the reasons I do use gloves. And I think that these, these are the only ones that are more comfortable to me and those are from like the dollar store. But before I do wash the dishes, I like to prepare my sink by cleaning it out with the baking soda. And here I'm just filling the little container with the baking soda that way I can just have that nice container under the sink and then I can just take it out and clean the sink. You're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free. I'm a sweet baby. If you're new to my channel, let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Anna. I have four boys from 10, 14, 15, and 15 at this time. He will be 16 in November. And I love to do a lot of cleaning videos, 
I a little bit of motherhood everything that it's mom related you will see in this channel so if you like those type of videos don't forget to subscribe and also hitting that bell so you will be notified every time I upload videos Another thing that I like to do is every time I wash the dishes I have to dry them out and put them away because if I leave the dishes on the side and just rinsing them air air drying it feels like the kitchen it's not clean so that's why I try to clean the island and that way I can put all the dry dishes in there and then I'll just start putting them away so I kind of like to clean my countertops first before I put any type of clean dishes in there um, and actually today I am using the method daily granite cleaner and it's my first time trying it and so far I'm liking it and I also like the smell of it Till we grow old, please tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day You slip my world on fire You slip my world on fire I don't know what I'd do without you that you do my life was great till you added color at the same time that i'm cleaning out the countertops i will be cleaning out the walls they were in a really really good need of cleaning and i actually clean as i go i don't like to focus in one area because personally to me it's a little bit boring so i try to cleaning cleaning it at the same time that i am cleaning other areas close by and so that's what I was doing in here and every time I clean a countertop area I will be cleaning out the walls Another thing that I like to do when I'm gonna be washing a lot of dishes like in here it's to fill up uh, one side of the sink with water that way I won't have to waste a lot of water and actually today I'm gonna be using a tip that I got from Jasmine uh, she also has a channel I'm actually going to link her channel down below so you guys can go and check her out she comment in one of my videos that uh, where she used to work at a restaurant they used to put some Clorox in the water when they were rinsing the dishes I'm gonna be filling out the sink with water and soap and then in the other side I will be putting out a container filling it up with water with a little bit of Clorox like she said Going down, but I never felt this high. Biggest ride of the now because this is a very long video, I will be popping in here back and forth. So for now, put me in the TV, put me in the tablet, depending on what type of devices you use to watch videos, so we you can clean along with me. And I hope you enjoyed the music that I chose for you this time. Cause you can reach the sky while I'm stuck here on the ground.
I mentioned in a previous video, when I wash this many dishes, I like to wash them in section. First, all the silverware, and then all the cups, and then the plates, and then so on, so on, until I get to the pots. I hate washing silverware. It's just so hideous, like washing little tiny things. So that's why I always wash them first. But since I am doing that little trick with the water, I always try to take out all the food or any liquid that it's inside of the cups or the plates. That way, whenever I put them in the soapy water, it doesn't dirty the water that much. And it actually helps a lot since you don't have to waste a lot of water. You could just uh, put, a put a little bit of water into those dishes, take out all the extra food that it's in it, and it's semi-clean by the time you put it in the soapy water. And for the other container with the water with Clorox, I didn't have to replace it uh, that much. I did replace it twice since all the soap from the soapy water got into that water. I wasn't able to clean out the dishes that well. But again, I didn't use a lot of water in the container as you guys can see in here. So that actually did help me a lot. And I feel that even the dishes are more cleaner with that a little bit of Clorox inside of the water. cutting out the honeydews and the pineapples that I had in here uh, we have to go grocery shopping but these fruits have been in here for almost five days already and I don't want them to go bad and I usually cut all the fruit and put it in the fridge so that way it's just easy access for the kids to just get it and eat it and that's what I will be doing in here I'm just gonna be cutting it out and then putting them in the container on the fridge don't cry. Boys don't cry We're in fear Is it just for sure Where you've been I don't wanna know You say hi When you're mean and low Boys don't cry Boys don't cry
guess that I should say now this is what I was talking about at the beginning I had to stop in between to make some food to eat and also to make some food for uh, Edgar's lunch and so I did had extra dishes to wash all over again so uh, this time I didn't have to use no gloves since it wasn't that much of dishes to do it was just the extra dishes that we used to make the food and also the lunch and I did have leftovers but I did put it away in a container that way I didn't have no dishes out in the stove or out in the kitchen and that way my kitchen will be able to be actually clean and um, uh, this time I didn't I didn't did the process with the water and the Clorox since there was not the many dishes I just did a regular quick uh, wash and without gloves setting up a goal to grow from heart it's all about to master who we are nobody's gonna make me feel I'm off the charts I did use the Method All Purpose Cleaner, the Honeycrisp Apple. I love that smell. And for the door cabinets, I did use the Wood for Good Daily Cleaner, the uh, almond scent. It smells delicious. Again, this is another product that I recently bought and I'm like in love with it. And I actually just bought it for my table. But since it's wood, I thought if I clean the cabinet doors, it will be able to look shiny and it actually did work really really well i just love the way it shines and all the grease came out like fast say something like you love me and make my day like you always do like you always do
That's what I 
I've been here for all along I have no doubt I know you really want to stay Till the fires burn out Days like this will slowly fade away Memories will always stay the same Now to clean out my stove, I will be using one of my favorite products, the Barkeeper's Friend. I love this product so much. I use it in the showers and recently I started using it in the sink. But since I'm so used to using the baking soda, I do forget that I have that product until I take it out to clean the stove. But it does shine the sink really nicely and to clean out this type of stove tops it works amazing if you haven't tried it out you should try it i promise you you won't regret it trying this product it's a, one of my favorite ones if you feel lonely i will be here and wait for the sun it's getting closer but it will never Young, and we didn't want to be exposed Even though it was cold We were never wearing proper clothes Always trying to be cool Trying to be those bad guys Smoking cigarettes behind the school Always trying to be cool Trying to be those bad guys, you know Another of my favorite products that I use is the Wayman, the stainless steel. I use this for the microwave, the stove, and pretty much all the stainless steel that I have in the kitchen. Told my friends those days made me who I am. When we were younger, we were never running out of time. As long as we had each other, everything was black and white Driving in a car, never knowing how far we'd go When we were younger, oh, when we were younger
about each other oh, Everything was black and white When we were younger melt i did had a plug-in uh and my nephew dropped it on accident probably like a month and a half ago and i just let it sit in there i procrastinate to clean it out but since i'm gonna be moving out all of my couches to this living room i need to clean it out and i am using my um therma pro the steamer mop and it works amazing but i think i did clean it a little bit more harder that I started taking out the paint so if you ever have this type of accidents with uh, wax melt if you use steam it doesn't even have to be a steam up even with a um, iron if you turn on onto the steamer and if you get all that steam in there it will come out um, fast the But we 
see a lot of girls toys in my living room that's because like i said at the beginning i do babysit my niece so i have to have all her toys down here that way you know i can keep an eye on her and so she can play but i don't have any girls so i all my kids are big already but with my little niece it's kind of like having another little baby it's just a little different but I will be moving out this couch onto the um, living room by the entrance. And uh, actually that brown couch that I have in here, I do want to get rid of it. I don't like it no more, but I can't get rid of it until I buy new couches. I do get all my furniture from Ashley Furniture, but I've been having a lot of issues with them th the last time I did purchase a few bed sets um 
we did record those that part but i do have that recording part in my uh, vlog channel if you guys want to go and check that out <laughs>
I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing but with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby Myself, and I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time And I know it so well I will always be by your side Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you Making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better now this is another piece of furniture that i want to get rid of so if you guys have any suggestions on nice and cheap furniture or even a website that you guys recommend for me to look for new couch set or for any type of furniture comment down below that way i can go and check it out because I am in a hunt of new furniture, but I don't want to make a purchase and then get rid of them like the way I am doing in here because I've been doing that for the past few years and that's why I always end up with no furniture because I buy it and then I sell it and then I can't buy new furniture until further notice. So that's how I am right now. I am looking for furniture, but then Again, I just don't want to spend the money on something that I know that I will get rid of it like later on in the future. By this time my kids were home already so they did help me out with 
all of my niece uh, toys we did put them in the garage for now until uh, I have like a right spot where I can place her toys and um, she can play but I do take them out to the garage every night and then whenever she wakes up I try to put them inside again again thank you so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and that you find some motivation with this whole hour of cleaning again if you did made it all the way to the end don't forget to give me that big thumbs up that way i can know that you enjoy this type of videos and comment down below if you like the voiceover or if you just want the music next time and i will see you in the next video bye Hey